All right, so this is a quick video to show you how I do compass calibrations. If you're like me, I just upgraded to 3.2. I'm going to redo my compass com calibrations for my drone. You can see here I'm using an external uh, compass and GPS for the Pixhawk. Uh, the new one apparently does both. So this is my swivel chair trick. So just get a regular office chair. Make sure that it can, you know, twist and turn. And... Um, use telemetry for this. Um, I'm also using um, an OSD for my FPV so you can make sure that everything's working, you get all the voltages and signal and then make sure you connect with you know your USB telemetry module and um, you know so get it connected. Go to initial setup, mandatory hardware, go to compass, uh, regular manual is fine and do live calibration. So this is the trick I do. So hit go, you'll see this graph, and I'll reference this. Let's take it here, spin it round and round a couple times, and you'll notice that it starts to draw a circle as it spins. And eventually it will center that, since everything's pretty uh, There you go, so it just centered. So when it disappears, it's kind of, that's the axis. So enough data points for this angle that I'm going to start with nose down, just grab it face it down, yes the props are on and you notice it's not armed so I'm not a complete idiot spin it around facing nose down you'll start to notice uh, another circle showing up and I kind of like to go slow a little fast so that you can kind of make sure that it gets every point and also go backwards Alright, so let's do this a little faster. Go to the left side. There you go. Nice and stable. Spin it around. This is particularly helpful on large quads because, you know, it, uh, it's pretty heavy and you want to make sure that you get a good plane. Alright, this is nose down. I mean, sorry, nose up. It's been there, you notice, getting a couple more circles, another plane. You can see, make sure that everything's shown up on my OSD. Okay. Now I'll do the right side. Kind of see all the different axes showing up. Get a good data set going. All right, so we did front, back, uh, top, front, and the last thing to do is upside down. Now here's a trick. I use one of these guys, just a regular plastic container. A lot of times because I've got stuff going on and I don't want to affect compass. So what I do is I'll just take it, put it upside down in the container, like that, and place the container on the chair. It's harder to do with one hand, so hold on a second. There you go. All right, so that's what it looks like upside down. Then you're going to do this last axis. Spin, spin, spin. Try not to spin all over the place. little backwards and taking a look at the points I'm seeing over a thousand samples let's see what our focus and that's kind of what it looks like and that should be it and finally when you're done you know rebooted reconnected make sure that your um, compass is right there's no GPS, so okay. This is pointed north right now. Make sure that it lines up. This is west. Give it a second. East. Southeast. Northwest. Southwest. Pretty quick. 
that is it. That's how to calibrate your compass.